Yes, everybody, we are back with some more Jujutsu Kaisen content, ladies and gentlemen. And as a lot of you guys know, the Jujutsu Kaisen cast is full of colorful, eccentric characters. You have characters all across the board who range from super serious to super silly. There's a lot of good stuff when it comes to the characters in Jujutsu Kaisen. It's one of its biggest strengths is people constantly want to see more of these character interactions and how they just move about in the world. Toto instantly became a fan favorite as soon as he appeared on screen. Obviously, you know, my glorious King Sukuna, the, 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 the sheer aura that he has is unmatched. As well as Pretty Boy Gojo. Pretty Boy Gojo cannot be understated whatsoever now before i get into the meat and potatoes of this video i i want to preface this real quick with something not every character has to do something super astounding and amazing in media some characters are just plain side characters just to make the world look cool and that's fine look at isane from bleach <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go too hard on the slander because isane come on at you boy <laughs> isane cosplayers what's good with y'all man <laughs> listen man all i'm saying is that that that, that, that beach episode just the heck was getting your boy right man that's all I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know about y'all. But in all seriousness, whenever you have stories with these massive amounts of characters, they're gonna have characters that don't really do that much. Look at Ten Ten from Naruto. The biggest thing I remember Ten Ten doing from Naruto is when she was able to seal those two brothers in the war arc, but that was really about it. I mean, she got bodied by Tamari in part one, and that's really about all she did. It's funny because Ten Ten had less screen time than that fucking swing <laughs> in Naruto. <laughs> Kishimoto can't decide how to write women. I mean, no, but yes, but no. <laughs> but specifically when it comes to Jujutsu Kaisen, there are a couple of characters that I feel that are absolutely almost worthless, but there is one, there is one character in particular that I, I I mean, did absolutely squat throughout the entire story. Now, obviously, if you are an anime only, please make sure you click off this video because we will be talking about some spoilers in here, but make sure you leave a like and subscribe first. I appreciate it. Also, go buy my merchandise. Use code first drop to get 15% off. I don't know if the code is 20 or 15. I forgot what it is. So the first character that people are going to say is absolutely useless is Mai, who's most likely going to be using on this thumbnail. Now, Mai, in her fight against Maki, people really didn't like her she seemed kind of snobby and then we kind of understood their backstory as to why they dislike each other people kind of warmed up to her a little bit but hey, she doesn't really do a whole lot i mean the kyoto students got absolutely fucking washed in the exchange event so i don't i mean i don't really know what people like were expecting she's literally just like a level one yorozu with construction construction is a very busted ability i mean uh shit look what yorozu was doing with like the bug armor and everything like that i like perfect sphere like a, a domain expansion i'm assuming yorozu's domain expansion was crazy we just never got to see what it did now people are like oh she can only make one bullet she sucks well like yeah, and the only other thing she did besides that herself was take a shot at Kenjaku, but that's it. But the thing is, is that Mai herself was pivotal to Maki's awakening. Now, is it a bit telling that the best thing that she did in her life was die? <laughs> no, but without Mai, Maki would never have been able to completely neutralize every single ounce of cursed energy that was residing in her body, at least the tiny, tiny bit, because they were twins. And so because of Mai's death, Maki was able to actually throw away everything and obviously murder her whole family. When the anime airs, I hope that they talk about this. I I, I hope that they're kind of like, damn, Maki, you kind of you killed your whole family. Holy shit. Like even Yuta in volume zero was like, oh yeah, Maki, let's let's bring down the Zenin clan. I, I don't think he would have been like, oh, mass murder, including your own mother. <sighs> Damn, yeah, bitch. Gotta get my jimmies tight. <laughs> then we have Norotoshi Kamo. Now, Norotoshi Kamo has encountered a lot of slander, and, and I, 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 I hate it. I think that Kamo's fight versus Megumi was pretty cool. I like that fight a lot, actually. I think that it was a phenomenal fight. Is it like top 10, top 15 in the series? No. But it was a cool little fight. And he was getting some pretty decent shine when he and Maki teamed up against Naoya. I mean, he fully expected to sacrifice himself, and he actually gave Maki enough time to kind of get her quasi healing factor in order. So, no, I don't think that Naruto Shikamo is, is the most useless. And also, he was able to help Yuji out with his blood manipulation as well. Yuji was able to use his blood manipulation in conjunction with his reverse curse technique to kind of boost himself up since he's still a novice and he wasn't exactly used to it already. I mean, hell, when he got caught in Sukuna's domain expansion, 
expansion and his leg got cut off he had to reattach it so yeah obviously his blade manipulation that was a huge part of yuji's kit and he owes that thanks to Naruto shikamo since choso himself wasn't a great teacher now then there's panda now panda actually was integral in helping recruit hikari since he helped yuji kind of stage their fight quote unquote he also took care of mechamaru's mechanical body in the kyoto exchange event as well so while yes we didn't get to see all of what panda could do throughout the story i think that panda actually served a role for what he needed to do he was goofy he was fun reminds me a lot of choji from naruto but then let's actually talk about the one character who was just absolutely useless and did nothing contributed nothing to the story it's momo it's it's momo <laughs> and i don't think anybody's gonna disagree with me i feel like ichiji did more toto's friend that stopped yuji's injuries in shibuya as well as try to you know heal nobara or stop her injuries did more than momo junpei did more for the story than momo momo didn't do it jack diddly squat and her claim to fame as a sorcerer is that she's got a a, a broom and and some air attacks i mean I <laughs> oh boy oh congratulations you're really you really impressing the, the whole cast with this one whoa we got a banger of an ability on our hands right here boy if i said that i thought that my was stronger than momo what would y'all say to me <laughs> <laughs> the biggest thing that Momo did was give a pretty cool character moment for Nobara, where Nobara is talking about how her femininity has nothing to do with these societal pressures, that she does all these girly things because she wants to, not because she has to, because she's a woman. She's still a tomboy, but she likes feeling pretty. She likes going shopping. She likes dressing up cute. That's because that's the kind of person that she is. That's something to do with outside pressures. But other than that, that's it. That she, Momo is I, I, I'm trash. <laughs> Sumiki, who was in a coma for almost 70% of the story, did more than Momo. Momo launched a airstrike at Urame, who just waved it off with one hand. And after that, she just doesn't do anything in the story. Actually, I lied. She held a lantern up above where Kenjaku and Urame were. So the other Kyoto students could, you know, try to launch a, a counterattack or an ambush, and it just, it just didn't work. So, dude, I don't know what Gege was cooking with Momo. Again, I know that I said at the beginning of the video, not every character has to be a major character. That's fine. But Gege was not cooking with Momo. This that, uh, easily the most useless character in all of Jujutsu Kaisen. I mean, hell, Ghetto's girls, you know, that he rescued, I feel like they had more plot significance than Momo did. I don't know what. Uh, ooh. And then she get the nerve to appear in like the final three chapters. I'm like, wh who, who asked you to be here? You don't even go here. But yeah, that's just my thoughts on this matter. What do you guys think? Who do you guys think is the most useless character in Jujutsu Kaisen? Please let me know down in the comments below. It's me, boy, Dad, for you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this video. Please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode. Y'all make sure you take care of yourselves, guys. And have a good one. Peace.